Welcome to this video on backtesting and live trading. After this video, you will be able to analyze the performance of your strategy and perform live trading. In this tutorial series, you have built a crossover strategy. It's time to analyze the strategy performance on historical data. This is called backtesting. Go to the Quick Run tab on the right. You need to select the dataset, start and end dates, and the initial capital. Make sure to use the same dataset as you have selected in the Define Strategy block. Click on the Run button. The backtesting results and the performance metrics are updated in real time as the data is processed. You can analyze the strategy performance metrics such as returns, sharp, and drawdown. If there is an error, it will be notified on the Errors tab. The new backtest button generates a detailed backtesting report. The parameters for the detailed backtest are the same as the quick run. The detailed report is generated in the background. You will be notified when the report is ready by the bell notification icon. The detailed backtest has trade logs and more performance metrics like Sortino ratio, SKU, and kurtosis. If everything works well in backtesting, then you can start paper trading or live trading. Click on the Go Live button. A pop-up says that your strategy code needs to be changed. This is automatically done to make your code compatible for a live run on the BlueShift platform. Click on the Accept and Execute to continue. You are now five steps away from taking your strategy live. First, set your risk management preference. Click on Go to Settings. Enter the drawdown, order, and size limits. You can change these values or reset to default. The next step is to select a broker, allocate capital, and set the end date for strategy execution. For live trading, you need to connect the BlueShift platform with your broker. Select your preference amongst the list of supported brokers. If your broker supports paper trading, you can run your strategy in a simulated trading environment before live trading. To authenticate the BlueShift platform with your broker, you need to log in and obtain the authentication token and customer ID. Without these tokens, you won't be able to establish a secure connection between the broker's platform and your strategy. Then, select the order confirmation mode. The automatic execution mode will automatically execute the trades when it gets a signal from the strategy. Some brokers allow a one-click mode. In one-click mode, BlueShift asks for user confirmation before placing any order. Finally, accept the terms and conditions before running the code on the BlueShift platform. You can review all information before executing your strategy on live data. After confirmation, you will be redirected to the console. The console has all the relevant information from the BlueShift platform running your strategy in real time. The dashboard provides overall information regarding your strategy. The analytics are updated in real time. The Trades tab has a list of executed trades as they happen during live execution. If you have the one-click execution mode, then the confirmation requests will appear in the My Trade Alerts tab. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now it is your turn to open BlueShift, create your strategy, backtest, and live trade using it. Sign up on BlueShift for more updates on cool feature releases in the future. We will soon bring more tutorials on advanced strategies, such as how to create machine learning for trading strategies using visual programming. For any help or support, connect with us through the links on the screen. These are also available in the description. Happy trading!